So I'm historian, professional historian, specialized in the Middle East, and I was always uh, through my professional, academic, and before that, diplomatic life, impressed by the fact that there was no book specifically about Gaza. That in fact, Gaza was always uh, dealt about in relationship with a wider context, a wider Palestinian context, mostly centered on Jerusalem and the West Bank, or why the PLO, Palestine Liberation Organization, context connected with the exiles and the diaspora and the refugee camps. Everybody was talking uh, about Gaza, but nobody really devoted its attention to it. So I assigned me this task, which uh, I uh, never envisioned would be so hard, because it's a very difficult history to write. First, there is no archives because of the conflict situation in Gaza and the split between Hamas and Fatah that destroyed most of the possibility of documented sources. And second, I had to rely a lot on oral testimonies from people who are part of Eden or people's history that is mostly overshadowed by the grand narratives of the competing diplomacies or of the rival parties. Fatah has a holy history, explaining he has always been at the core of Palestinian resistance, and same with Hamas, and I had to deconstruct those holy narratives to make the history of Gaza come true. I do believe that this is a matter of serious concern, especially because Gaza is at the center of the worst uh, news, always about conflict, always about war, always about ruins. But through this history of Gaza that I depicted, I'm confident, and this is my personal ambition, that I'm also designing a path to peace because this war is not a fatality. It was created among many layers of conflicts in the past generation, and what was done by men could be undone by men. So my history of Gaza is also a message of peace and hope. Science.